If you are currently looking for your tax number, or are a bit confused which number you should use for your invoices, for your tax return, or if you want to call the tax office and you don't know which number to call, then you get the answers in this video. Hi, my name is Melchior from Contest Tax Consulting, and in this video I'd like to dig a little deeper into the topic of tax numbers. As a self-employed person, you should know which tax number you have and which one you can use for what. The first tax number that you definitely have is your personal tax identification number, sometimes abbreviated as tax ID or ID number. This number is given to you at birth or when you emigrate to Germany as a welcome gift. This tax identification number is something like your personal fingerprint. It is unique and stays the same for the rest of your life. If you work as an employee, then this is the only number you'll need. You have to give this tax ID to your employer and you'll also find it on every payslip as well as at the end of the year when you get your electronic income tax statement. This also has your personal tax ID number on it. The second tax number is the normal number. Normal because it's the number you deal with most often. You have to include this normal tax number on your invoices, on your tax returns or even when you exchange letters with the tax office you should always provide this tax number. The reason is relatively simple, as this is the internal file number at the tax office for your file, meaning the tax office has internal files and with this tax number, they can find yours. If you fail to provide that number, they simply won't be able to find your file. Since this tax number belongs to the regionally responsible tax office, it is possible that this tax number changes throughout your life. Reasons for this could be that you move from, say, Munich to Berlin, then the Munich tax office is no longer responsible for you, but instead, you'll receive a new tax number from the Berlin office after your move. Other reasons could be that you register a new company or that you get married. All these things regularly lead to you receiving a new tax number. In exceptional cases, you may have more than one tax number, and this is always the case if your place of residence is different from your place of business. If, for example, you have a separate office and a different tax office is responsible for the address where your office is located, then you'll have a tax number for your business address and one for your residential address. Keep in mind that you should always make sure that you use the correct tax number. You should use the business tax number on your invoices, for example, and also for your business tax returns. So for your VAT return and your business tax return. However, you should use the tax number that you receive from the office responsible for your residential address for your private income tax return. The third number you should always know is your sales tax identification number. You should also have this number if you are self-employed. This number is normally abbreviated as UST ID number. And you need this number if you exchange goods or services with other EU countries in both directions. If you provide a service to a company in another EU country, so for example, you do a consulting service for an Austrian company, then you don't have to state your tax number on the invoice for these sales, but your UST identification number. However, you also have to indicate the UST number if you receive services from another EU country. For example, if you want to place ads on Facebook or Google, and Facebook and Google both being based in Ireland and Ireland being another EU country, then you have to go to their respective settings and in order to be allowed to purchase these services, you have to enter your UST identification number. This number always starts with a country code. In Germany, that would be DE, and then followed by the actual number. It is important that the whole number is valid, so you should never leave out the DE. If you're going to be self-employed, then you can apply for the UST number by simply filling out the extra questionnaire when applying for your tax number at the tax office. If you are already self-employed now and you forgot to apply for this UST identification number in the beginning, then you can also do it later at the Federal Central Tax Office. You can just send an online application on their website to get your personal sales tax identification number. You can find the link below this video. I hope this short video has helped you. If you have any other tax questions, feel free to write a comment below this video. If you're interested in the services of Contest Tax Consulting, you can find all the information below this video. Otherwise, feel free to watch these videos here and here, and I look forward to seeing you next time.